so martial practices have pretty much been heavy in the male dominated aspects. Uh, women are in much fewer numbers. And as a woman, um, I found significant empowerment in my own life through these martial practices. Specifically for me, the Aikido. I know that other arts also have this aspect, but for me it's the Aikido. And based in the whole kindness, it's sort of, it speaks deeply to all the women that I know. And having a, a woman come onto the mat for the first time, I mean, lots of different experiences. Uh, and I'm thinking of one mother in particular. She would come and she would watch her children train. Um, I was the, ended up being the uh, main teacher for uh, children's classes. And I had both of her children. And she would come and she would sit at the side of the mat and she was absolutely clear that there was you know, no way for her to do this. It was too scary, it was whatever. But the more she sat and watched, the more she became intrigued for her own sense of self and the transformations that happen for people in general, but I'm speaking specifically here of women because, you know, we're taught not to hit, we're taught not to play with sticks, um, by and large, at least women in, in my um, growing up. Um, we're taught to, um, that we're weak, uh, that we have to give way to power, all that, all that stuff. And, you know, the, um, you see it a lot with 11-year-old girls. It's like a critical point in their lives. They either move into their power or keep it, as they move past that 11, or they let go and become enculturated in not being their largest self. So Aikido is about being your fullest self, and not over other people, but fullest self within self. So it's bringing, um, a powerful way of speaking, a powerful way of acting, a powerful way of engaging through this, this veil of loving for all. And that's a huge way, a, a huge change in engaging life as a woman or as a girl. Um, there's nothing quite like it that I've found um, in any other in any other art, um, whether it's dance or uh, any other sport. There's something about it because it also includes communication and. Now, I may be in Aikido only communicating with my body, but what comes through learning to blend, to protect self and other, is hugely powerful, and it, re and it, it expands outside, it expands off the mat. It allows, in conversation, it allows me, it allows other women to hold their ground to um, hold center, if you will, and then move fluidly with what they find. Um, whether it's conversation, whether it's, you know, getting your child to um, clean their room. How do you go about that? Uh, do you do it through punishment? Or do you do it through encouragement? Do you do, you do it through really direct um, 
a kind of a, I started to say, take no prisoner attitude, um, meaning that you kind of engage the people that are the most important, the most um, available, to be their biggest self as well. Um, Aikido just has that about, about itself. You know, it, um, and it grows because not everybody that shows up on the mat is athletic. Not everybody that shows up on the mat has any idea that they're, they're going to get fully rounded. They're going to be fully uh, fleshed out um, through this art, but it kind of sneaks up when you get, you know, you've got all different sized people. You know, I'm 5'3". Um, I'm training with somebody that's six foot six and weighs, you know, 250 pounds. I'm, you know, 130. That dynamic doesn't, it ends up not mattering. I get to be as full as I am and dance with this larger person and be um, successful in my engagement with that person. Mm -hmm.